and welcome back Fire and Addicts to another episode of Travis Does Fire. Today we're talking pallets. So I hope it's not too windy for you all. I need to get a better mic camera set up, but that'll be soon. So um, yeah, so today talking pallets. Um, I think a lot of us do use pallets. Usually they're free. I, it, I mean, it all depends on where you live, but I would, I would recommend not paying for pallets. Maybe the plastic ones for like two bucks a piece, whatever, plastic ones last forever. You, you can't really attach them to anything. And maybe like a screw in the plastic with wood, I guess that would kind of work. But wooden ones are usually free. When I was, a few years ago, when I first moved in here to build that back shelter, that's mostly pallets. And I found a guy and his job or what he did for a living was he went around to different stores, different locations that had a palace they needed to get rid of. He would collect them and then he would sell them to people who would want them or take them off their hands to for a fee and then drop them off somewhere for free. So I got this like old pickup truck that was a flatbed and he just like tipped off all these pallets. I got, I don't know how many, like, like 40 pallets. It was crazy. Um, and they're all varying sizes or so some some of them were were most were pie maybe some oak I think one or two were mahogany. I think I, I saved that one but my point is I think uh, it's best just to uh, Get free pallets now where to get free pallets and I don't want to repeat anything that has been said on other channels about pallets uh, I mean, I'm sure that other firewood channels have done pallets um, I'm not copying them. I'm just doing my own my own version. So um, I Think we all use pallets to put our wood on because it leaves a space between the ground and the wood so the So beneath the wood there's airflow there's airflow because you need air to season firewood. That's a science That's a um, So you don't have to be fancy when it comes to firewood I would say ideally to get the pallets that are at 48 inches by 48 inches to so four by four. So when you stack two next to each other, that would be eight feet. And then you stack two on, on end to make ends and they're four feet width. And, the, and, the, and then you fill that space with three rows. That's a cord Four by four by eight, that's 128 cubic feet. That's a cord, right? But not all pa not all pallets are made the same. They're not equal. They're varying sizes. So either you um, take what you get, you can be picky, or you can modify the pallets. Um, I've literally had to extend a few, like maybe six inches or so to, to make my, my four feet, or I just have a certain pallet of a certain uh, width and I use that and I only get two rows inside which is fine I don't stack cords I don't really care what my stacks look like they're stacked I, I'd rather have them be stacked kind of loosely so there's more airflow I mean a a stack of wood looks beautiful right and and in time maybe I will do piles but for right now I'll be stacking and um so if so my point was if if it's not a four foot width and it's shorter than that or so other dimension they have two rows have two rows one on each end so there's a air gap in the middle it happens and and that could be a beneficial to you that the dry that the wood would dry faster and not have that middle row not be as dry as the two outer rows perhaps it all depends on your wood yard your space and 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 how you want to do your wood yard. But my point is, I would not uh, pay for pallets. Now, I was just back from a, I was going to an appointment just now, and on the way there, I passed by this uh, tractor uh, supply store. It's not, not the brand name tractor supply, it, it, it's a John Deere dealer. So they bring, so they get in like riding lawn mowers, uh, small tractors, blades, equipment, and all the attachments for, 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 for John Deere. And all comes in on wooden pallets. So they have a space off to their yard 
where they put the pallets or anything that's free so you want to pick up on my way th on my way to my appointment i passed by this place this uh, tractor store and i saw a freshly stacked uh stack pile of uh pallets and they look brand new i'm like yes on my way back home i'll stop in and get a few pallets i was excited because you always need pallets and you see pallets grab them grab them right now because they're not going to be there in two minutes or next day or next week grab pallets when you can lesson learned so on my way back from the appointment you know what happened they were gone that pilot i saw someone took them and i was only gone for an hour ah. anyway so but there's still other pallets there so i got a handful or so here they're all varying sizes on varying conditions but sometimes you can't be picky so I, I was able to haul them in my truck and strap them down make sure they're strapped down you don't want pallets flying off your your trailer or your truck that is a no-no strap them down so you can go I, so if you don't know a place locally there there you can go on craigslist you can go on offer up a marketplace search pallets you can find them either they're behind a store a warehouse uh, wherever just go there pick up the pallets and go um hopefully it makes sure that it's the correct address or not just just don't pick up pallets that you you think are free make sure that they are free i know this location um that where where i get the pallets they are free so bad to pick up something that is potentially not free but so um that's all i can think of for getting pallets um if you see them pick them up as soon as possible they may not be there so let's segue how to use pallets so um i think there's there are multiple ways to use pallets when it comes to firewood but um i'm going to show you how i use them the one way i want to use more often is with my i like to have them be on end I, I don't i don't since i don't sell cords i don't stack cords i go higher than four feet and so i usually will stack pallets on end to create more of a structure to store wood and so this one here these two these two here for cedar this is like a like a gravity fed drop down and if you watch my channel you know that i i will throw it in from the top or, or it will go down so then when i go to collect it or to load, load my, my my trailer or my tote i pick from the bottom and kind of like the co-op where you you buy in bulk food then you you pick from the bottom and the gravity will have it the wood fall down from the top until it's empty so um so this is open there's, there's one pallet here to create a wall but there's still airflow all around it so I, I have two of those right now um as well as so those are when you're doing um the two-story now one story you can make them two-story and i'll show that over there but, but the one story having used pallets when you have a, a palace on the ground um you have one on end and and make sure that this on end piece is secure take one of the one by three one by four um pieces of the pallet or maybe like a scrap pallet and make this angled brace go down to one of the the wood pieces here screw nail and go up screw nail so the nest keeps at a 90 more or less at a 90 and this piece here is secured because you don't want this to be wobbly um and do that on both sides so on one side here and other side so then this is secure because you don't want your your wood falling down case in point right here i was using really old pallets and now this is bowing it's gonna fall down so i had this the strap on it to, to prevent hopefully prevent this whole wall from from coming in so if you're gonna make structures or a way to contain firewood to stack use new pallets for the verticals keep using old pallets on the ground or if the pallets are rotted just toss them get rid of them burn them and then collect the nails or the whatever screws but don't use old pallets if they have any rot just discard them just use i mean they're free and available enough in most areas just use new pallets because this was a bad idea and i'll i will hopefully I'll hopefully not pay for it having this all collapse and then having to rebuild it and having to restack it it's just 
I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to restock wood. More touching of the wood is bad. So another thing about pals, I mean, it's reclaimed lumber. So if you have pals, you can make other things with it. I've used it to build shelves and other things. Um, in terms of if you collect pallets to burn, um, yeah, you can do that. You can burn them outside for sure. Inside, just make sure that there's no uh, like branding on the on the pallets that would would it would show that it has been treated for chemicals because some pallets are treated for chemicals to prevent bugs from burning in them when the pallets are being shipped specifically shipped internationally. So just be aware of that. Don't burn chemically treated uh, pallets or wood inside your stove, inside your house. That's bad. The chemicals will go in your house and people smell it and it's just bad. So there's other uses for pallets and you can burn them inside if you want to. Um, it's, it's, it's free wood, but uh, I mean, weigh it, your time effort to break down the pallets. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a pallet buster that I have. Um, it's right here, actually. Pallet buster. The pallet buster. I think I have a video on this on my channel that I did a few years ago. It, it, it was pre this uh, firewood channel, but um, yeah, you buy this part here, and then you and then um, it comes with this little uh, pin, and then you buy a metal rod that goes inside of it, and then you put this on the pallet to literally bust it up. So this is a easy way to bust up a pallet if you um, if you need or want to. So this structure here is two pallet worth, so it's higher. So I can get more wood in the structure. And this is a hodgepodge of nonsense of structure, not sound by any means, but it's functional. I exact a lot of wood, one location, and it's drying, it's seasoning, it is doing its thing with the sun and the wind, and hopefully in a few months this would, will make me money. So. Whatever you can do, however bad it looks, or if it's beautiful, all the all the palettes may match. Maybe you color the palettes. It's your wood. You, you it, it's it's what you, it's it's your wood. You are. You do what you want to do with your palettes. So I've used these palettes to make sure they're on end to build it higher up, so I can go higher than how 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 tall I am to make sure that I can get as much wood in one space, one location as I can because I have limited space in my wood yard. So again, with the bracing, you hear you hear with the angles, to, so it won't fall over, won't fall apart. And again, an example of using um, old used pallets. See this bowing here, a little bow action here. Yeah, that's why you don't use old pallets. So you uh, learning from my mistakes. Now, when you, for me at least, when I'm stacking um, pallets on end, I usually will stack the the first one on top of the, the pallet that's on the ground. On here, I didn't do that. But usually I do, I'll, 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 I'll put this pallet on top of the pallet that's on the ground laying. And then when I put the second pallet on top of the first uh, vertical or on end pallet, I'll use other scrap pieces of pallet to adhere it to itself. So I have this piece here that's screwed in, screw, screw, screw. So it will not flex. I did that twice here, right there, and right here, and then again bracing. So I have one bracing from the first pallet down to the bottom pallet, and then from um, the first pallet all the way down to the second. So there with the angle, it, it should be, this 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 piece here should all, should go the way down all the way down to the bottom pallet, but I have one long enough at the time. So. You could be making this up as you go, like I do, or you have you actually use lumber from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. I don't want to use new lumber when I'm building structures with for for firewood. As of now, I I may in the future uh, just to 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 spend the time and the money and use actual lumber to build a woodshed area. But for now, I don't. Um, yeah, one thing I want to point out too, when you're stacking, when you're laying a pallet on the ground, make sure it's level. Not pretty level, but it's not on a slope. Okay, I think you you saw before um, this structure here, this corner was leaning leaning down, and it was just leaning down hard. And so I had to jack it up, 
and put some some blocks under it so um it was better because if it's at an angle one angle then that wood could just like fall down that would be bad that'd be bad don't want to re have to restack wood same with here where, where this ground here is at, is at a gradual slope so i had to put some blocks beneath this in here as well as that that tote um so it will be level so the wood doesn't fall down it doesn't have to be perfectly level but it's not at a heavy slope where, where the stack could fall over that would be bad so pallets we love pallets they're usually free they're awesome but if you want to spend the money on real lumber that, that is a two length uh and 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 make your work shed sure that's fine just make sure that's up off the ground and it's covered you can do that totally fine but a lot of us do use pallets so by the time you see this i think we hope it'd be very very close to the 1000 uh sub mark i know that i mentioned it before that we'll be having a giveaway we are so i have a few items um that i have a few items pending and i have a few asks to ask people for items so i don't know when the episode will be and maybe after um i do hit the the 1000 sub mark but it will happen. We're gonna have 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 a big celebration, a big other, and and a big a giveaway. I'm not sure what to do for that video. I don't know. Um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, we'll have a giveaway to to, to celebrate. It'll be a, a great a great amount of milestone um, for the channel. And and I could not do that without you. I appreciate you, you viewers, you, you subs, and you supporters. Thank you. So on this channel, I will always support other channels. Um, if you want to promote your channel in the comments or if you send me stickers, I'll even do that here. So this is from my, my good buddy, uh, Len. He's in Canada. His channel is called uh, Len's Keeping Busy. Um, on that channel, he does, like, he'll show you his mods and his fabrication of his lawn tractor and how he splits wood, how he will grab wood and lift wood, um, and then how he stacks wood into castles and arches, and it's super cool. So go ahead and check out his channels. His second channel is called, let's bring this up here. Second channel is called um, Lens Garden Tractors. Now that's where he will fabricate, uh, weld, make his stuff to make sure that he can do the work that he wants to do. So go ahead and support Lens channel if you haven't already. Other guy's awesome, and he has some awesome content. So, yeah. So, that's my little two cents on pallets. Um, yep. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, until next time, rock and roll. Keep safe, and keep cutting. Cheers.